Hey guys and welcome back to Yogcraft with me Mr. Foz HD. Last episode we started our Thorncraft experience and today we're going to carry it on. So I've been doing lots of research recently and I found a couple of things. So here we're going to see um, in some little cutscenes we've got some magic tallow that we've researched. Lovely jubbly. We've also got some night ore. That's the like lighty thing that's quite cool. We've also got alimentum which is like a gunpowder explosion thingy. And we've also researched gunpowder um, that you can get from doing stuff in a crucible. We found basic uh, transmutation, which is quite cool. Um, and we also found tin transmutation. Now there's all the other metal transmutations, which is kind of all right, but um, we've also found thormium, which is the big one, because that's what we need to make our thormium grafters. Um, at the moment, I'm in the middle of uh, finding some basic blocks, I think. We've also got the robes and the enchant enchanted fabric and the thermometer from last episode, which is all good. Basic alchemy. Now, I don't know what that's all about. I think that's just the start bit but um yeah i think i'm going to carry on this um this basic blocks thing so you can see here i've got some of the things but we've got two other elements now i've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory i've been out doing loads of stuff getting loads of materials and i'm going to put in some saplings just because well i think that this is the oh there we go oh wow okay so it's actually worked i wasn't expecting that to uh, we're also gonna need some craft tables it looks like as the last element is the fabrico so it's create construct and work and i think crafting tables have that element in it, they do. So I'm going to stick some craft tables in there and hopefully there we go. We have the other discovery, the magical building blocks. Now this is what I wanted to decorate the around of our little underground thingy. So let's have a look. You've been studying ways to combine stone, wood and metals to create building materials suitable for the crafting of mystical objects and constructs. You can say that. Um, so let's discover that and have a look in our Thormonomicon what that's done. So we, we got it here, basic artificing. So yeah, whatever that is. So magical building blocks. So you can see here we can make arcane stone blocks. Wow, that's quite nice. You can also make arcane wood blocks. Arcane, another set of arcane wood blocks. Oh, that's just two though. Nice, okay. And you can also make, what's this? Um, you can make an infusion altar. Okay, I think that's something else to use for crafting. But for now, these look quite cool, these arcane stone blocks. They're, they look pretty expensive though. Now, we are going to need a crucible. Now, I didn't think about the floor here because the uh, crucible needs to be next to lava. And yeah, we've got a wooden floor. So I'm going to go change this floor up, maybe put some stone down or something like that. And then we're going to, I think, change all the um, like walls and stuff to like the wooden blocks because they look quite nice. And hopefully the floor to the stone blocks because they look nice too. So we right back once that's all done. Voila, as though this is magic, our floor is now low, no longer wood. Isn't that fantastic? It's, it's not like we're doing magic or anything. Suddenly our woods, uh, our wood, our floor has just vanished and now it's stone brick. Isn't that lovely? So now we've got a stone brick floor. Now we're going to go get some lava and we're going to need a cauldron because this is how to make a crucible. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. Now we're going to get a bucket of lava, lovely jubbly. And we're just going to need a bucket of water now that I think about it. We'll probably put a source block down there and then we're going to need our wand which we've got and a bit of iron which we've got so that's all good now let's go downstairs and make a hole for our um crucible so where are we going to put this um crucible now we're going to need just a one block but i don't want it too close to the walls in case we make it out of stone S uh, out of stone out of wood so i think i'm just going to stick it right down here so now all we need to do is get the lava bucket stick the lava bucket down there like so lovely jubbly and then we're going to make this cauldron like that, very easy. I'm going to stick the cauldron down on top of it, so let's just put that there and then put that there. So now the cauldron's on top of the lava, which looks lovely, and we're going to stick, where's our wand? I think our wand's in the table. We're going to get the wand, and all we're going to do is right click on here, voila, and we've got our crucible. Lovely, right, so now we're going to need, oh, a bucket of lava, a bucket of lava, a bucket of water, and I'll put a source block somewhere, so maybe I'll put it down here that'll be nice that'd be nice just so we can get unlimited water and this is also a way of getting golems um, which is something else we have to research obviously because that's what this um, mod's all about researching um, but yeah you can use golems to do stuff for you now you can see here there's water we don't want to step on the water because it's highly highly flammable i say flammable it's, it's not it's just really hot and you can see now it started bubbling isn't that nice so that means it's hot enough to do recipes in and it's all good to go so now we're going to come over here and, hmm, I'm thinking we need to make some Thormium. So how do we make some Thormium? Let's have a look in our Thormonomicon. You can see I made a lot of books there with our paper and our leather that we got from all our farms. Now, Thormium. 
Let's see, we need eight metalum, which is like metal and all that, and four magic. Okay, let's see what we've got on our inventory. So we can see we got six magic on v one V shard, and then metal we've got eight on one bar. Okay, so we're going to need eight and four. So how many bars do we want of thormium? I don't know, should we say about eight? So we'll get, we'll get eight um, ingots, and then we're going to chuck them all into the cauldron. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see all the bubbles coming out of everywhere. And we're also going to want eight of these then. So let's get eight of these, because that probably be enough. I shall do seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. And then we're going to use our lovely wand. Oh, what's it, what does it keep doing that for? And we're going to go kablam. And there's some thormium. We've already picked it up. So we've got eight thormium ingots now. Isn't that lovely? Now, how do we make these stone, lovely stone bricks that we've just researched? So you need four thormium ingots and some stone. And that makes eight stone blocks. So we can make 16 potentially uh, and put them in the floor somewhere. Wouldn't that be quite nice? So let's make them. What do we need to make them in? Let's see. Do we need an arcane work table? Okay, so it's not too hard. So now let's go get some stone. I should have some left over from making all this stone brick. Stupid car going past my house. Shut up. Um, and, oh, there we go. We've got 46 stone. That's lovely. And now we're just going to uh, make some of this arcane stone blocks so that our floor looks a bit more, I don't know, magic y, if that's uh, even a word. So we're going to put like a little triangle diamond sort of shape here and then put the thormium ingots around the edges like that. We're going to put a wand in, and there is our arcane stone blocks. We've got 16 stone blocks. Nice. Nice, nice. Right. So now we're going to put one there. And then we'll put uh, one here. We'll just do um, a, a gap of like two. So this should work, hopefully. Um, let's quickly put that there. There we go. Uh, these look these look actually really nice. I quite like the look of these. Um, at least Sfax has textured something quite nice, um, which is nice. That's lovely. OK, so let's just do the rest of these then. Make some more holes everywhere um, like that. And this should look nice enough to leave as a floor. Yeah, that, look, that looks nice. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to probably want to do one, two. So we're going to want to do one there as well. And there we go. Looking good. And we also have some arcane work stone blocks left over. So we're going to stick them in the chest. Actually, I'm not really wearing my uniform. Better wear, uh, better wear my uniform while we're doing magic anyway. So let's stick the rest of our uniform in there. Okay. So I think now it's time to do some more researching. I kind of want to find out how to make the Thormium Grafter now because we've got the Thormium. Um, oh, here we go. We can make a Thormium Sword, Thormium Pickaxe, Thormium Shovel, Thormium Axe. Um, you can even make helmets, a hoe, uh, leggings, chest plate. They look all really well textured as well. So that's something to look um, to think about. Maybe making some Thormium armor. That could be a good idea. Oh, it's getting nighttime as well. I have to be careful. Be careful any mobs come down. I still haven't worked out this entrance either. Um, so I think it's just time to keep on researching. So I'm going to be back once I've hopefully researched something awesome for you guys to have a look at. Okay, so here's something to look at. Very interesting. We've got uh, Mutatio and Tempest left. And this is to make a unified Thormic field theory. So I think this is to make the um, next wand up. So we not become like an apprentice anymore. So I think we just need to go and get these stuff. So time. That's going to be cl like clocks and stuff, isn't it? So maybe let's go get some clocks. Um, we're going to need some gold then. We're going to need some gold and some... Oh, actually, I've already got some gold. We're just going to need some redstone. Okay. I think that's how to make clocks anyway. Can't remember the basics of Minecraft, but I'm doing Thorncraft. Isn't that great? So we'll just get like two clocks or so. There we go. Lovely. And we're also going to need that other thing. So maybe Ender Pearls. That could have it. Uh, let's have a look. Ender Pearls. No. Uh, slime, slime balls have it. Okay. Get some slime balls then and have a look and see if we can make this unified thormic field theory or whatever it's called. Uh, quite a big name as well. So let's stick them in. Oh, there we go. There we go. We nearly got it. Nice. We're going to put the clocks in as well. There we go. Okay. So now we are ready, I think, to make, uh, to discover this thormic field theory. Nice. Okay. So then, I think it's time to have a look at what this thing is. So you can see, you may you may be on to something here. For the moment, it lies just outside your grasp, but you, th you are beginning to see how the magical, elemental, and natural worlds all fit together. Knowledge like this could prove invaluable. Okay, this looks quite big. Wow, that is quite big, actually. This connects us up with a lot of other things. So we can make a Wand of the Adept, and it holds 
Does it hold 50? No, it can't hold 50. I don't know what it holds, but it holds a lot more than this Wand of Apprentice. So, we need one of each um, shard, I think. Let's go see if we've got one of each. Um, I'm not sure if we do, because I've just been like dotted around. So we've got a fire shard. We also need a water shard. We need a air shard, I think. And then we also need a earth shard. So I think we might actually have all of them, all of them ready. Now we're gonna need to make another one of these um, wand of the apprentices, because we're actually gonna put one in the apprentice table or whatever it's called. Um, well, actually, will we? I don't know actually. Yeah, actually, we're going to need one in the recipe, and we're going to need one in the table, so we're going to need two. So we might as well get this. We've also got V shards, which is good. Yeah, I've, I've just been getting more V shards than anything. I have not cared about anything else but V shards, so that's why I'm probably going to be able to get a, a couple more than anything else. So let's just make some nuggets. You can use this as a normal craft table as well, which is good. And we're going to make another wand, and then we're going to put a wand in the middle and surround it in these random uh, shards. And hopefully this makes us... No, 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 you don't want to? Um, let's have a look. What was the recipe? We need air, fire, earth, water. Air, fire, air, fire, earth, water. Air, fire, earth, water. And it doesn't work. Now, what do you need to make it in? The infusion altar. Okay. Right, so that means we're going to need four blocks of that special like type of block. So... Let's get these blocks out, and we're going to stick them around about here, like that. And then we're going to use our wand, so this bad boy here. And we're just going to... Oh, wow, ex extreme lag spikes. Be right back, guys. Okay, so we're back. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened there. Right, so now we're going to just uh, right-click on this, and we've got our infusion altar. So now I can click on this. You can see the recipe here. So now we're going to have to put this recipe and exchange it into this thing here. So let's take all them. Stick this in there like that. We're going to need air at the top, fire, earth, and then water, which I don't think I took out. Nope, because I don't have enough room in my inventory. That's one thing about this stupid um, thingy. Uh, you actually have to... Oh, wait. You need Procancio. Okay. So I think what you have to do for this is actually just put a bucket of water um, in here and then stick all the things in here. And as long as it's close enough to the infusion altar, it should give all the elements their needs so wait for this to bubble uh, like so and we're gonna put one two would that be enough no nope, we need 16 is that not 16 then I guess not oh I've just put it oh um, bit of an issue guys I just chucked in about 30 give it back <laughs> no oh dear okay that's a big bummer we've actually Oh, that's annoying. Well, oh well, we're just going to have to leave that then. Um, oh, snap. That's really annoying. I don't know what's just happened then either because it's not actually worked for the infusion altar either. So, how do we put the materials in here then? I wonder. Do we... Well, I, d I don't know. Um, we have to bring it a bit closer maybe? Does that have to be closer? Maybe it does. Let's bring this up then. And, oh, he didn't like that. The, infu the infusion altar did not like that. So let's bring it a bit more closer and see if this works. So we'll stick it around about here. Yeah, that should do. That should be close enough. And we'll do that. Click on it. We need to put... Oh, we have to put the wand in. That was why. That's why it didn't work. We have to put the wand in. Okay. Silly me. Wow. So we're going to have to go and get some more V shards. Okay, that's going to be a bit annoying. Um, right, so we have to put the wand in there. Let's put the other wand in there. And then we've put this wand in there with the earth, water, fire, and air. And then all it needed was the um, this stuff. So, actually, maybe we can um, use something else. This this has got two. So we're going to need something with magic. Um, let's go and see if we've got anything else with magic. Hopefully we do. Um, I don't know if we've got any more V-shards, do we? We've got three more V-shards. I think that should do just enough, actually, now that I think about it. Now you can see the armor actually only does three points on your armor points, uh, which is actually quite good for this enchanted fabric, because I was expecting to do like nothing at all, but it does work. So there we go. Now we can get the Wand of Adept. Look at this, we've got a boss wand now. So we're getting ever so closer to that Thormium Grafter. We've got a nice looking wand now. I think it's just time to keep on researching again. We've got a new wand, looking good. Now let's um, put in some more stuff and hopefully 
find this grafter. So be right back once I've hopefully got it. Okay, welcome back guys. Now as you can see, my inventory is absolutely chock-a-block full of random stuff that, you know, you wouldn't see in an everyday inventory. So, um, yeah, that's that's what happens when you do this thing. But you can see I've discovered a lot more stuff now. Oh, I don't want to go in that. Now, over here, we've got the same things, I think, near enough. Haven't been able to find that thormium grafter yet, or the thormium um, scoop, which is annoying. But uh, now that we've found out this un unified thormium field, thormic field theory, we've actually been able to find the wand of equal trade and the hoe of growth. Now, it's kind of odd because these the hoe of growth is something that a farmer needs. And it's funny that I got that first. I mean, we could have got any of these, but we got that. We've also managed to find out about the infernal furnace which is a special furnace you can make. We've also found warded jars. So yeah, nothing we really want at the moment except for maybe that hoe of growth. Now, how would you make that? You need a thormium hoe and a wand of equal trade and you made that using a wand of apprentice and three V shards. Not too hard at all, but um, I think I'm gonna finish then uh, making this um, hoe of growth, which will be quite nice. So I'm gonna take out this wand of apprentice and quickly make this. Um, so we're gonna do that stick the things around it and stick that in there and it's in the infusion altar apparently um oh dear so we're going to stick that in there infusion altar is a bit of a pain because you have to put all the stuff in as well like all this stuff so we need 16 permutatio that's in seeds so we need 16 seeds like that we're going to also need four instrumentum so we're going to need some sort of tool oh let's use this uh this hoe that we've got here so we're going to need a bucket of water let's go over to our bucket thing here and let's fill it up, fill it up, and put in the seeds and the thing. Let's let it bubble first, there. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Come on, little bubble, bubble, bubble. There we go. Now it's bubbling. So now we're gonna put the seeds in. There we go. And we're also gonna put in the hoe, like that. And we should be able to get the wand of equal trade. Nice. So now we're gonna want to. Um, uh, let's see. Let's actually have a look. So we're gonna want to make this hoe growth by putting the Wand of equal trade with the thormium hoe. Now, how do we make the thormium ingots to make thormium hoe? I can't remember. I think it's um, thorm V shards. Wait, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We got this book for a reason. Right, so we need two of these. So we need eight metallum and four per uh, four of this stuff. So we need eight of this. So two of these and um, 16 of these. So we'll do three. And then we'll stick all this with a bucket of water. That's where we need the source. Uh, I'm going to stick all of this in there, leave that in there for a bit until it bubbles and it should go away and then we're going to get our wand back out, our lovely wand of adept and we're going to click on that, get the thormium and there we go, we've got thormium ingots now we're going to need to go and get some sticks, I could probably make some now actually, here we go and what do we need to use to make this hoe of growth? We're going to need the infusion altar and we're going to need quite a lot of things down here, okay so let's stick the recipe in, the wand of equal trade, oh no actually we're actually going to need to make this hose, so I think it might just be in here. Hopefully it is, because that would be much easier. Yes, it is. Okay, so we can make that just like that. Okay, that's nice. And then we can put this on top, and this below. And that makes us the herber, so we're going to need maybe this. So we're going to need, um, let's see, four of these. Also going to need um, four of these, I think. Yep. And then we're also going to need 16 instrumentum, so some tools. Okay. Right, so let's... Oh, let's get a bucket of water quickly. Like that. And we're going to stick in... Uh, let's see, we need four of these. So we'll stick in them. We'll stick in four of these. Like that. And put them back in because they just came back out. Uh, now we're going to need to go and get some tools. So maybe we'll be able to make some tools here. Just, I don't know, like a pickaxe or something. How many is that got in it? Six. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll be able to make some more then. Um, let's make that. That's got six as well, so that's 12. So I think we need, what was it, 16? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need a bit more. So let's just stick that in, stick that in. Actually, we've got some gold on us. Let's make something with the gold. So that's got two. Hmm. Let's make a pickaxe then and see what that does. That's two as well. Okay, well, well, actually, if they're both two, why don't we just make shovels, then they're, they're really cheap compared to the pickaxes anyway. So let's make two more of these, two more shovels, so I've got gold. Look at these, actually. These look really cool, these golden tools, and we'll stick all them in, and that should be enough to get us our... Whoa, no, 
No? Okay. Oh, we need our wand. That's what we need. There we go. And we're going to... Oh, this holds 250 Vs. Nice. So now we're going to take out our wand... Our Herve Growth. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's dark. Watch out for all the zombies and all that. So, what does this Herve Growth do then? I think if you just click on it on the ground, I think it must just... Ho, oh, I guess. Um, if you guys know what else it does, then don't forget to leave that in the comments because I'd like to know. Um, did just make it for a reason. I hope it's got something else that it does. Um, maybe I just... Oh, wow. Unlovely. Oh, okay. So it actually has got a um, durability as well, but it's done like a 3x3 a three three area. That's nice. I'm just going to jump on this now. Get the grass back. I want, I want my dirt back. I want my dirt. Give me my dirt. I don't want stupid hoed, hoed land. Wait, is there water under this? Because it's going all like dark coloured and I thought that's like when it's moistened. There we go. So, lovely. So this has been a pretty successful episode. We've got a bunch of stuff from the Thorncraft extravaganza that we're doing. Um, so thanks for watching guys. We've got this her growth. We've also got a lovely wand now. And we're using up our materials quick. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm Mr. Foz HD. Don't forget to hit that like button. And leave your comments on what this her growth does. Because I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to chuck the robes back in because it's a good day of... Um, doing this. Uh, we're also going to get all this out and stick this back on. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.